Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, man. We got young L's out here with us today. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? All the way from New Orleans, man. You know that. You know I had to come tapping with my dude, Urban Politics. Yeah, you know, right. real niggas link wherever we at. That shit connect. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, we got locked in, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Ya. For sure. You and LV, legendary shit real going nigga. on, man. Real nigga. He uh, linked me up with you, so we had to go ahead and make this yeah. shit happen for the people. Free T9, you know how that go, big on. Yeah. Shout out to on. Yeah. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Now, me, me and Lil Ya, you know what I'm saying, with New Orleans history, we did that interview and that bitch went crazy, dog. Yeah, for like, sure. I see them numbers went yeah, crazy, numbers, crazy. That was one of my first, not videos that popped, that was one of my first interviews. Cause yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I was a nigga getting under 100 views on interviews at one yeah, point. Yeah. So, like, he brought something to the culture with the New Orleans, the uh, UNLV shit, and, and, and everything like that. So, that was one of my first interviews that took off because they had real hip hop history. Right, right. And, right, and everything right. like that. So, you connected to that, man. Yeah, for sure. 100%. For sure. Tell them how you connected to that. Man, you know, well, actually, Tech Nine, that's my daddy. Yeah. So, you know, that rap shit really has just been around me my whole life, you know? Okay. So that's how I'm really connected to that shit. We family ties, even though I, I spit that shit too. Yeah. And you know, they, they see that shit. So I got the younger wave to this shit. So yeah. that's how we doing it. That's how I'm connected to this shit. Yeah. Nah, for sure so, for sure so, all right. Yeah, for sure so. Nah, yeah. a nigga gonna tap in every time and it, it go down like that. And yeah. When niggas is, is active and punching and pressing they movement, niggas right. gonna support it like right. me. And people who willing to pop out and link up and spend a little bit, so. You know, I fuck with it. So, New Orleans, dog. Let's talk yeah. about New Orleans. So, Tick okay. being your pops, you know, what was that like coming up in New Orleans? Well, actually, he, you know, he ain't, you know, he ain't really was, you know, he ain't really was that like on some shit, but, yeah. you know, he was there. But, it was, you know, coming from New Orleans, you know, shit was real, like, rugged. Like, I'm from downtown St. Bernard, Project 7 Walk. Okay. You know, my daddy from uptown. You know, okay. third wall, they were up the third wall. Okay. You know, so my mama moved down and shit, growing up and shit, you know, shit was real hectic. Okay. You know, shit, authentic shit, you know. Murdering, you know. Facts, facts. So, you know, drug dealing, all that type of shit, you know. So is y'all projects uh, still up after Hurricane no, Katrina, they no, tore them down? Nah, they tore the projects down. And built like the little town yeah, type thing? Yeah, built the townhouse. This ain't the same no more. Yeah. But shit coming up, you know, it was, it was just real rugged, like, okay. you know. It was more respectful thing, you know, niggas were wild, you know, but they had respect. Niggas was wildin', but they had respect. Yeah. And not niggas just wildin' out there, like, you know. On some dry shit. On some dry shit, niggas ain't thinking. Yeah. Niggas ain't trying to get no money, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because so. you can't be trying to get money if you out here doing the foolishness. Okay. Yeah, nah, ain't no, ain't no time for that. Hell nah. Ain't hell no nah. time for that if you getting money. Hell nah, hell nah. Um, so like that money shit in New Orleans, man, yeah. you say like, Niggas out there, they 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 kind of like not as focused. They they not focus on the money as they used Niggas to be. Niggas ain't focused as, as much as they used to be. Yeah, it, it can't be how they moving right now. Yeah, it can't be. Yeah, it's more so some like we just. We gotta prove a point out here. Okay. You know what I mean? It's more of a you know. Yeah. Let's see who get this name. We gotta get this name pop. Niggas okay. won't blend in. It be niggas like where I come from. I'ma speak on it. Yeah. This nigga who I never saw before. You feel me? But this nigga's out my project, hang with him. Okay. And he, you know, you know, his nigga's trying to get a name, so there's a lot of fool shit going on. You see what I'm okay. saying? Like that. I ain't gonna speak on it, but yeah. there's a lot of fool shit, and niggas gotcha. trying to prove a point to this, yeah. this person, or, you know. So niggas really be outside in New Orleans for the most. I heard this, I just did another interview from a New Orleans artist, and he kind of said that niggas in New Orleans really be Killing just to make a name. Exactly. Yeah, it's see. niggas, you know, yeah. who in the city who getting money. You know, shout out to every nigga getting money in the city. Yeah. But you know, it ain't it ain't that many niggas getting money. You know, yeah. and, and and a flaw gonna come out. You know, niggas can't fake it for too long. Yeah. Niggas ain't really getting no money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So gotcha. niggas really outside trying to prove a point to another nigga. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. So would you say with that going on in New Orleans? How does that affect the rap game out there right now? Cause it's like you can't work with everybody. Everybody, I'm too. First of all, niggas too. You know, I ain't working with you. Niggas be too cocky. Okay. That's the first thing. And you don't know. You know, your partner might be. You know, beefing yeah. with him, or you don't know who. So 
Yeah. That that be the main part too. Niggas can't work with everybody because you know it be real street shit going on. Yeah. Like real street shit. Like nigga, I didn't kill this. You know his yeah. partner. He didn't kill my partner. Yeah. So it be real street shit. So that's why it be kind of hard for niggas to connect in the city too. Okay. You know what I mean, that's, that's yeah. One of the and then and, and, and I see that too. Like, you know, we had it's just we way bigger in Houston. So right, like, right, right. I, the same shit go on with these niggas is up with these niggas. Yeah. They niggas yeah. got issues with them, and it's like maybe. The whole clique might not have issues, but it might be one nigga. They like, okay, well, my nigga got an issue with that nigga, so we can't work, can't as, work. A, as a unit. Right. Or right. the neighborhood issues, we don't have it. It's so many niggas out here that rap, though, it don't stop the whole rap game. Right, right. So do right. you feel like, what do you feel like kind of, because New Orleans just seem a little stagnant on the music side, not as far as the talent, but it's actually something breaking through to the masses. It's niggas' egos. Yeah. It's niggas' egos. Thanks. If nigga could put that ego to the side, like, man, let's get, like, Houston. Let's okay. get, like, Atlanta. Because okay. they got to think about it, man. Houston was the first city, really, with that, put you know, like, niggas come together. Pimp C did yeah. that. Like, that was the, this was the first city that, you know, put everybody together. And yeah. then it was Atlanta. You know, okay. niggas don't know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Atlanta, but, see, you know, Atlanta, dog, creatively, they never went stagnant. You know what I'm saying? We didn't either at first, though, like. When we first hit mainstream, we stayed with it for a while. Yeah. And I think when the game went to the internet, that's what kind of affected Houston. Yeah. And I yeah, think that's yeah. what kind of happened with New Orleans too, though. Like, yeah, the you know, internet, when Baby and Wayne when left, and first came when they went to Miami, right. it got, it got, it got, it got dry. dry. It's like nobody yeah. wanted to look in in, in right, New Orleans right, for right. no other talent. talent. Right. It's like, right. okay, we got Baby and Wayne. We know Hurricane Katrina hit. We good with just that. Yeah, you know what right, I'm right, right. And, and, and this mood, niggas, yeah. you know, we got talent in the city. Yeah. There's a lot of talent, niggas. There's a lot of niggas doing their thing. Shout out to every nigga in the city doing yeah. their thing. I ain't sure. knocking no nigga. Sure. But we got to come together, you know, and, and put that shit together, or that shit ain't gonna get heard. The features help. Features help, you know. Yeah. Collaborate, promoting each other's so, shit. That's what I'm saying. We, All that good shit help, man. But. Niggas don't post nothing like, you know, I don't trip, you know, but it'll help if, you know, nigga post my shit if Eric, cause I post nigga shit. Yeah. It be niggas who post, niggas who shit I post, don't yeah. post my shit. Yeah. I'm a real nigga, I'ma still post that next single cause I fuck with you. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? So it, 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 it's never about no money with me or, or nothing. You hear me? Yeah. I'm a real one. I'm a report. I'm gonna I'm I'm post that shit. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's For crazy sure. out here how it works, man. So, you know, you be back and forth. Ace time. I be back New and Orleans. forth. Yeah. Why, yeah. why do you think you got to come back and forth? Like, it's just like, you know, I got people out here too. Yeah. And, you know, you know, I make money. I got money out here. You know, I make money out here. Gotcha. And, you know, I make money out there. So, you know, I'm, I'm a. You know, I shoot off sometimes, Philly, you know, Cali, Vegas, but this is my main two, my nice. main two homes where, I, you know, I really be kicking it at. See, so, you know, man, you got, uh, you got some work with, uh, Reed Dollars out of Philly, man. Yeah, for sure. Shout out my nigga Reed Dollars. Yeah, you how know, that, how that situation came together? Let's talk about that, because, you know, Reed Dollars and that battle rap era, era Philly, he was one of them niggas, man. Yeah, he was the nigga. He was yeah. legend, legendary, big yeah, brody. Yeah, so. Um, we connected over the internet, and yeah. we like really connected, like you know, it wasn't no, you know, look, I'm fucking with you, you over the internet shit. Yeah. We made a, we got, we we, we got a, a real relationship. You okay. see what I'm saying? I got the nigga number and shit, and we just start kicking it over the phone, you know, talking on the phone, shit, playing a game together and shit, you know, like my real partner. Yeah. I'm talking about I've been knowing bro for like three years. You see what I'm saying? I never like went at him on new music shit because it ain't, like I said, I ain't no, you know what I mean? And niggas was telling me, man, you need to pursue that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I went at bro like a like a real one. I ain't asked for nothing. You know what I mean? I, you know, business. What, what I got to pay, you know what I mean? We got the business clear here and shit. We got it done. You know, yeah. that's big bro. You know? Shout out Reed Dollars, man. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Philly. Man, man Philly be showing love like a motherfucker, bro. Every nigga that came across in Philly, and I done done business with niggas from Philly yeah. on, on this shit right here. Niggas. Just, yeah, Solid. yeah, All yeah. The niggas week. that came, I done had like two Philly niggas come out here and fuck with me. Then I had uh. Uh, Gilly the Kid. Yeah, real. I had an interview with Gilly. I fuck with Gilly, bro. And Shout then out Wallow. Gilly. Wallow be supporting. Shout out Wallow. Like yeah, I fuck with Wallow. Yeah, them niggas be supporting, man. So, yeah. uh, in New Orleans right now, dog, let's talk about the, the situation of getting music created. Is it hard to get music created out there? Um, Like studios, y'all got the resources, the yeah. engineers. 
it's, it, they, we got, you know, popping, you know, producers and all that, but you know how the game go. Yeah. Niggas get, you know, the name and it be hard to, you know, they ain't really got niggas really sitting in the city. Okay. You know, especially not no, no nigga who really, you know, like, niggas got different other niggas' sounds. Okay. You gotta have your own sound. Right. They ain't got no, I ain't hear no original niggas come out, you know, yeah. the city yet. You know, they got some niggas, but I'm yeah. talking about as far as who, who, you know, to another level. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Fuck all that sounding like another nigga, but you got a fan base. You still sound like another nigga. Yeah. This shit about being creative, have your own style. You can't be jacking nigga style. Yeah. Like Sauce Walker said, you can't steal a nigga sauce. Shout so. out to Sauce Walker now. Yeah. You can't be out here stealing a drip like that, man. That shit, you know, yeah. it, get, it get critical behind the drip. Yeah, so you got to be original, man, and stick to the script. Sound like yourself. So. Find your sound, bro. So. So. Shit. So. Now, uh, you got some other little shit out, man. You got a few videos out and shit yeah. like that. Let's talk about all this shit on YouTube and, and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, man, I got that came from the struggle. I got that shit out, man. I'm really, this project about to come out, man. Okay. This ain't the same. I got this mixtape coming out, so it really, I'm going to drop everything I drop. Everything on the mixtape gonna be a video to it. I'm giving y'all that. Everything okay. on there gonna have a visual to it. How many tracks you doing? I'm doing seven with okay. a bonus. That's what's up. Every I like that. Short, good tape, straight to the point. Yeah, everything yeah. on there. Yeah. Authentic. And we're gonna do everything right. You know what I mean? That's Videos on YouTube, you can check that shit out. Yeah. That shit just in the hood, you know. Everything gonna be authentic. I got yeah. some shit, you know, gonna probably go commercial. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. With my, you know, with my girl and shit, but you know that shit coming soon, man. So, so we gonna tap into everything, dog. Now, so right now in the game, dog, you know New Orleans is one of them cities where I see niggas working. I see yeah, they work. cameraman. I see right, niggas dropping right. videos. I tap, did a few interviews. Yeah, shout out, out there. Hollywood Poppy, man. That dude, yeah. the lot of shit you seeing in the city, bro. Yeah. Hollywood Poppy behind them lids, man. Shout out the. Shout out to you, Poppy, for real. Yeah. On the road. So I see niggas working and active. So yeah. I, to me, I know another thing that helped bust the city open and get it going, the right feature and right. the right visual with the right artist. Yes. So right now, yes. if you had an artist, besides niggas you already got good gene relationships yeah. with, who you think like your style? Oh, I'm going to be authentic every time. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the real. Who working, who, who I feel like yeah. got my eyes in the city, like, look, home and next. Okay. Who I feel like it to be real, and I know niggas ain't gonna like this, dog. But yeah. that dude Nino Kelvin, dog. Like, okay. Right now, dog, Nino Kelvin. Yeah. All right, we got other niggas, you know. Shout out, you know, to J Jones. Okay. But I'm talking about niggas, you know, who in the city, active in the city. I, Nino Kelvin, to me. Okay. Nino Kelvin. See, so he would cash money, right? Yeah, he would cash money. Okay, yeah, I yeah. follow him on the ground. Yeah, I follow yeah. him on the and ground. And he's not my partner, so that's why you see it. Yeah. But if I got to see it, you know, I'm going to see my you know, my partner. Okay. You know what I mean? But, yeah. yeah. See, so shout out to him, man. Shout, shout out to my partner. The whole man. motherfucking N.O., bro. I just slid yeah. through there a few times, two times. I'd have been in New Orleans. Actually, if you want to count the, the double back, I went in February, did some interviews, then went back in March yeah. on the way to Atlanta. Did tour interviews, then came back on the way back from uh, Atlanta to Ace Town and did another interview. Okay. So it be rocking, bro. I, I worked with a New Orleans artist the other, other night, so I really know I got to go out there and really keep doing my thing and know because sure. I keep coming across New Orleans artists. For sure. uh, shout out to Lil Ya putting yeah. this together with us two linking shout us, out man. Home, man. Free pop. Yeah, free your pop, man. Everything like that, bro. So yeah. do you feel like it's a gift and a curse? Having, you know, Pops who was a legendary in a legendary New Orleans group. Or? Yeah, it's more definitely a gift and a curse. Yeah. So like, it's good yeah. and it's bad. Because, like, with the music, too. Like, if I go in there and this shit be trash, like, niggas going to get on my ass. Like, you so. know, like, you got to, that shit got to live up. Yeah. You know, I did another interview and a nigga asked me the same question. Nigga, okay. like, man, do you feel like you got to, yeah. you know, have a standards of what you bring in front, y'all, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna bring, if I make it, I'm, I am create it. So I'm gonna bring that shit in front, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that shit 100. So okay. it's most definitely a gift and a curse. You see, you know, so. Because, you know, there's a lot of, especially in the music game, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, you got, it's, it's a lot of weight on a nigga's shoulders. You yeah, ain't lying. Yeah. I ain't lying for shit show, man. Hey, sure. give him the Instagram one more time man, and everything me, like that. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah. At, at, Young L7, Twitter, Young L7. Get at, subscribe to my YouTube at Young L7. 
click the link in my bio, man. Fuck with that. You know how we so. come, came from the block. See, so we tapped in, man. For sure, man. Shout out Urban Politics. Yeah. Putting this shit together, man. You know what it is. Yeah, New Orleans, the H time, man. We For locked sure, in, sure, tapped man. in, man. 1,000.